Greetings, guys. Welcome to I fucking plays Soul Forge Fusion Hybrid Deck Game. This is a CCG card battler, but it's got a robust single player mode, which is, seems kind of cool, like a roguelike. Um, it also has PvP modes, of course, but then apparently the collections are massive. Collection of cards, and it gives you a random selection of cards which you can modify. I don't know exactly how it all works. But let's jump in and look at the tutorial to start with, shall we? Shambling Zombie versus me, the player. Welcome to your first game. Welcome to Soul Force Forge Fusion. Play creatures and spells to reduce your opponent's health to zero and claim victory. Okay. Four action phases, two for you and two for your opponent, and a battle phase. That's different than normal. Uh, on your action phase, you may play one card from your hand. Play a creature now by dragging it into the lane. All right, what do we got here? Just a three, five, a five, three, and an eight, four, a four, four. Deploy, give the next creature you play two, plus two, plus two. Or a stout worm, an elemental creature, seven, five. So we're going to play two creatures, or two actions at least. So maybe it has to be a next creature. Maybe we'll play like that one and that one. Combat bar, bar top. Leveling up. Each time you play a card, a higher level, more powerful version of that card goes into your discard pile. Right click on any card to see the current card and its other levels. Right, click a card. Okay, magnifying your card, showing you all the levels of your card, including changes the card in play. Right click any card to mag to magnify. Things are happening, I can't. Is it any card? Here we go. Okay, so... 8, 8, 4, 8, and it gets higher and higher. So, what does this mean? Like, once it goes into your discard pile and comes back out, it gets stronger, during, like, levels up during the game. But then once you get back and once you start a new game, all this will revert to the first one. Okay, that's kind of cool. Hover over bold keywords or icons. So like drawing extra cards. I don't know. I don't know how it all works. I guess you can't. Because you get a set each time. Hover over bolded keywords or icons to see information and pop-ups. Cool. Now press done to pass control to the opponent. Okay. So yeah, we can see deploy when this creature comes into play trigger. The, uh, the UI is very old school, isn't it? I'm guessing it's what they're going for here. Okay, placing creatures, it's your turn to play creatures. Play another card. Opposing creatures battle each other. Unopposed creatures strike your opponent. Okay, makes sense. Blocking and non-blocking. Okay, so the next creature we play is going to get extra bonus points. We play this red one. So, like, are we a red and green deck? That's the fusion. Um, they're fighting each other. Can't they're not going to win? Just play over here. Okay, and he gets extra extra health. That flies up here, goes down there, and up there. Okay, no more moves. Why doesn't it end automatically? I guess there's other things you could do. Maybe after four action phases, battle begins. The player with the forge plays to the front of the lane in attack position. The player without the forge plays to the back of the lane in the defense position. Okay. If attacked, creatures in the back row fight back. Unopposed creatures attack the opposing player. What about these two? But they they attack each with each other and st oh wait there. Oh, it's just delayed or something. So they attack each other like normal. Okay. I was thinking like if you're at the front and but yeah, he's at the front, no one gets... They, you damage the human or the character, but I don't think that's okay. Any damage inflicted remains between turns. Creatures reduced to zero HP are banished. If you reduce a player to zero, you win. Okay. So these guys will fight each other. I get you. So if we get him again later on, he'll be leveled up. Is it random what you get here? Missing card. Uh, okay. Oh, now it's coming in. You completed your first turn. After each turn, you get a new card of five cards to play. Roger that. 
This draw includes spell cards. Spell cards are distinguished by gems in the upper left corner. Spells level up just like creatures, but are banished after being played. Those have a wide variety of effect. What banished after being played? How do you level them up? Some spells target an enemy. Some spells even summon other cards. Try playing them spells now. Your four damage to an enemy. Give one of your warriors plus four damage. Elemental creature. We got a warrior here. Spell. Give your creatures plus two plus two. When you gain health, give this plus that much damage equal to the health gained. Deploy gain four health. I don't know if we can go over 50. That might be a... This is your health total. Keep it above zero. Yeah, okay. So we played this warrior first, and then we use this to blow up him. What's this one do? Deal four damage to an enemy creature and two damage to enemy creatures adjacent. Okay. Well, get this guy out here. So we're playing defensive this time. Does this still mean we attack? Why is it defensive? All right, so he'll survive. So we hit this guy. And then we target this guy. So what happens now? Well, I guess it's, they're going to fight. It. They're going to block. So if I played a card here, would he? Would that have attacked him? Players alternate control of the forge each turn. When you have the forge, you can, your creatures deploy on the front, ready to attack. Back row creatures cannot initiate battle, but can counterattack. Okay, okay. Now go for it on your own. Your five damage to a creature or player. Give another one of your creatures plus four damage. So what, we got 26 damage. We're already doing pretty much 20, 19. Choose an enemy creature. The enemy player replaces it with a wisp minion. So we've got the forge. That means we're going to attack. So we could potentially kill him this turn. If this is unopposed, give it plus one, plus four damage. Okay, well, that's good. In fact, it goes across here and does that. It's good because normally it goes too quick and then you you can't read the opponents. So maybe that's okay, but it's going to get pretty slow if you know what's going on. Okay, your turn, mate. Um, this is the second turn, so we don't know what he's going to block next time. We can just delete that. Which seems fine. That's our weakest dude. If he's gonna play another 4-4. Four, four, you can just you can just play another 4-4 four, four there though, I guess. Can't do much about it. Why did that one go away? I should have looked at the spells. Another one he gets plus 10 damage. Like there's some big buffs going on in the game. The games won't last too long. Now I'm on the defensive. End of deck cycle. After three turns, you complete a deck cycle. There are four deck cycles in each game of SSF. SFF. Each cycle, your deck is shuffled. Give you access to your higher level cards and you gain a four born power, forge born power. Okay, so after three turns, you complete a deck cycle. There are four deck cycles. Okay. Each Forgeborn has a unique set of abilities you may use once per deck cycle. Click on your Forgeborn to see your powers. So three attack cycles, and then we get one of these, or we get it, we can use it three times, four times. <laughs> You've learned the basics, try and win the game. Okay, okay, okay. Now we can use this. What's this? Click to view. What is going on? It's got a 6-6 six, six this time. Click the view and activate. Give your creatures plus three and you gain plus three. Okay. This doesn't have flying or anything, does it? No. Oh, so this is leveled up. We just have to get one creature. Oh, he's got the forge. We can only defend. Oh, well, we might as well play this while there's nothing. Will this happen in defensive mode as well? Yes. Okay.
we do that and then we can play this. This is why you can wait. Okay. Give your creatures plus three. And we can go over our health points. You can undo as well. So this guy doesn't attack, so he doesn't die. Wait, he took five damage? Okay. When you get the five damage, thank you for completing the tutorial of Soulforge. You can revisit the tutorial from playing menu, individual tutorial pop-ups from the settings menu. Okay. The during the play, you can adjust animation speed, volume, find a detailed rule book, and adjust other features and settings. And check the game log for detailed play-by-play -play information about your game. Oh, that's cool. If you have not already done so, create an account, uh, receive free decks, play against other players, and try the campaign mode. The future of Solace will be decided by you. So the campaign mode is what I want to see here. Hide show, exit, return to main menus. Okay. So I'm going to make an account. All right. All right, we're in. So we got a collection. Welcome to collection. Free decks have been added to your collection. Thank you for joining the battle for Soulless. Okay. My first fusion deck. Blue, red. Fuse decks one. Faction decks four. Add decks. So these are the... So there's only four different colors? Because we played red and blue before. I'm never, I'm never fond of the, the blacks. We could potentially. Um, or the purples, whatever. This is probably necromancy stuff. Let's go with life and alloy, potentially. Wait, how does this work? Oh, okay. So this is alloy starter. Wait. Question mark. Nova. Okay, so, oh, so there's going to be multiple of these, but at the moment we've just got this one. And these are randomly generated for the different decks. we got the same cards, though. Play a Wisp minion. Give your minion. So this one's really gain, potentially, like, give your creatures. We want to summon as many creatures as we possibly can. So if we look at that, and then we look at, like, we can't do that again. Are we summoning creatures here? War Machine. If replaced a creature, give it... Oh. If replaced a creature, give it plus four. Play up to one Gizmo minion. Gizmo minion. Mobility. Can't see what they are here. Destroy up to one enemy creature. Creatures for defense. Play up to one mega gizmo minion. Okay. We can go back and look at others. We can't go to anywhere else though. When this is dealt damage, give that much damage. Okay. Give one damage to a creature or player. Play up to one spell. Sprite minion. Play up to one spell sprite. When, when you play a spell, give it plus three. So none of them are summoning minions. It's probably the Necromancer realistically here. Give your other zombies plus one this turn. When you destroy, upgrade a card in your discard pile. When just give your other zombies... Oh, oh, they're just updating the cards. Enemy creature minus one, minus one. Mobility. Okay. Okay, well there's not there's no synergy with producing lots of minions, so it doesn't matter what we go. Play this Tinker one, maybe she will summon some extra people. Replaced a minion. Stealth and stuff. Alright, let's go with this one, because we didn't play with them before. Okay. Okay, now we can pick a captain, I guess. Which is the skill. I want to know what this gizmo is. Play a gizmo minion. Upgrade a one card in your hand. Oh, a one card to a two. Play a mega gizmo minion. This is has the V ability of your uh, fourth ability of your unused forgeborn. Oh. 
<laughs> Let's go with her. She seems interesting. Choose a one enemy creature the opponent plays with a wisp minion. Go with this one then. Gizmo. Okay. Choose the deck. So I wonder how many different colors and everything will be. Okay, play. So we can do solo battle or campaign at the moment. So you can't play online right by me at the moment. Um, okay, so the campaign. I want a quest to defeat fearsome bosses. Reclusa. That's the boss, I'm guessing. Campaign mode. Welcome to your first campaign. Click on nodes to gain buffs and fight enemies until you reach the boss at the end. If you lose, you must start over. You can exit and continue the campaign at any time. Okay, what are they? I gotta click on them. At the end of your second deck cycle, play up to one three heart tree. Give one of your creatures plus three health. When you gain health, give your creatures in this lane plus three health. So this is my upgrade only. Second deck cycle, play up to one heart tree. What? Why up to one? When you use your Forgeborn's ability, give enemy creatures minus two, minus two. Wow, that's strong. I bet that's only going to happen in the second run. When you use your Forgeborn's ability, play up to one mage for free. Mage. Warrior. Mage. Mage. Scientist. We've only got two mages. Wouldn't be too bad. Give enemy all enemy creatures minus two, minus two. That seems pretty good. When you gain life, give your creatures in this lane plus three life. Spell. Exalt. That's weird. I don't know how that works. It could be interesting to find out. How much do we heal, though? We can't heal at all, I don't think. Oh, here we go. We playing li gain life there. You gain life. So there's two cards that gain life. I think we'll just do this. Okay, so that's our little bonus we get. Then we gotta fight one of these guys. Enemy modifiers. Cull the feeble. Crux Cobalt destroys your creature with the lowest damage at the end of each deck cycle. Ouch. Iron blooded. Iron beard's creatures come into play with plus two shield for the turn. Sunder plays lightning sparks at the end of each deck cycle. I have no idea what they are. Maybe this guy? We're going to decrease his damage anyway later. Okay, he's playing first. 6-4. Stealth. This creature ignores creatures in the back row during battle. So he's going to do 6 damage to me no matter what. If this... If this replaces a creature, give it plus three, plus three. Give one of your creatures aggressive this turn. Give your dinosaurs plus three, plus three. We got the two mages. Destroy up to one enemy creature with three or less attack. If this, if a spell was played this turn, give this plus three armor this turn. I guess we just play a standard warrior here. Is it worth putting it? We'll put it here. Five, three. Give creatures adjacent plus three health. So they've killed each other. 
I can't kill this thing, unfortunately, though. I guess I could next turn by... I've got great spell, uh, great options. Aggressive. This creature's always played in front line, even if you don't have the forge. And it gives my dinosaurs plus three, plus three. Bad start, bad start, I guess. Um, we'll do the six, five. Activate abilities. Cards with the glowing notches have abilities that can be activated. Activated abilities can be used once per turn at the time. Just tap the card when you play. Oh, okay. So I can play the activate ability next turn if I play a spell. So they'll lose their armor? Yeah, okay. Seven damage is a lot, though. Play up to one gizmo minion. When a creature replaces this, give it plus two, plus two. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. I got my own stealth card. This creature ignores creatures in the back row during battle forever. Huh. Give the next creature you play the plus two, plus two. Yeah, this is different to the other one. The other one was a four, four. Choose an enemy min creature. The enemy player replaces it with a wisp. You gain two life. Two two. Next creature you play. All right, we'll do this. He's going to gain two armor, which is going to stuff us up. Plus extra health and stuff. Deploy. If you have a creature with armor in play, give this plus three. Oh, what? What a little combo. Hmm. Play up to one gizmo minion deploy. We could use this for next turn. Oh, we don't have a gizmo minion. Oh, we do have a gizmo minion. Okay, cool. All right. He's destroying me with his armor. All right. What the heck? Deploy. Destroy up to one enemy minion. Bam. We're getting destroyed here. Play two wisp minions. Actually, that would be handy. Play up to one wisp minion. Give your minions plus two, plus two. Okay, this could be good. So we do this. Play up to two wisp minions. Then we can activate this to give a shield. He doesn't need it. And then next one we'll do that one. And we'll give all our minions plus two, plus two. They can kill that, kill that. That's it. Play a Wisp Minions Defender. We could defend here as well the next turn. No, because it's not gonna we aren't gonna have them in our hand. The other thing we can think about is we got our special soon. Jeez. So I guess yeah, we could. So this is going to defend this. That'll be down to one. 
Is this the third round? Then I can use this ability and everything gets minus two, minus two, which that means this would die, this would die. So instead I could play this. What's this one? If this replaces a creature, give it plus four. We could get tons of damage on this if we replace this, but it's not a gizmo. We may as well activate this to give it armor. We're still getting pretty destroyed here. I can activate this whenever I want. Okay, that's good. We could. I don't think we can block this though. We'll start doing some damage to it. Okay. So that means I kill this, this, this next turn. And then we'd have a big swing. Okay. Play an Oak Father and a Wisp Minion. What's an Oak Father? 8-8. Eight, eight. Okay. Play a Gizmo Minion. Upgrade it. One card in your hand. So... Wait, 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 wait. A one card. So this is a one card. Get a 9-5... We do need some more health, but it's not going to be... It is. It should be unopposed. Play up to one Mega Gizmo. Okay. Okay, let's, let's upgrade that. Play a Gizmo minion. Enemy creatures get minus two, minus two. And then this is going to upgrade. Bam. Look out. Our turn to raise. What does he do? Check that. You and your creatures get plus four armor this turn. That's not a problem. We can deal with that. Okay. Um, Mega Gizmo at five armor. Upgrade a card in your hand, then discard it. Oh. One mega gizmo. Probably this one. Get this one. We've only got three cards to play now. Why? It doesn't matter, does it? Then we can activate this, but can we put a person behind? I was going to swap. Occupied lane. If you play a creature in Occupied lane, it will replace and banish the previous creature. But Gizmo gets plus two. Plus two. Okay. Interesting. So we can increase the speed of these animations. Okay. Upper right cards. Help prompt auto in turn. Resolve tooltips. Tooltips. Auto in turn might be good as well. Okay. It's an Oak Father and a West. That doesn't help us at all at the moment. We can replace this guy, I guess. We will attack this. So an oak father, oak father first here. And now we're playing a wisp. Don't care where. Well, I do, so I'm not there. And then we give this guy armor just in case he um, plays a creature there. So he played his extra card too early. Okay. 
Okay. Give one of your creatures six armor this turn. If it's a warrior, it gets plus three attack. Minion, creature, plant, spirit. Wow. Warrior. Okay. Choose an enemy creature. Then you replace it with a wisp minion and you gain two health. Doing five damage here. That's a pain. Let's swap it with a wisp then. Because that's a lot of damage that we could be getting. Breakthrough. Oh, that's good. It's got breakthrough as well. Destroy up to one enemy creature with three or less attack. What's she doing? Mobility one. Does that mean it can move around? Exhaust this creature to move it to another empty lane up to X lanes away from this creature. Okay. We could smash this one as well. It's got eight though. We'll do this. And we'll may as well deploy one there. Maybe we should have done that next turn. Okay. So we could do either of these. I guess this is going through this anyway. We could destroy this one. Actually, let's destroy all his cards. We'll put this here. Who play a spell? Apparently. Oh, I can't attack yet. Oh, Jesus. All right. Jeez. It really does go back and forth quite a lot. Give one of your creatures aggressive this turn. Give your dinosaurs plus three, plus three. I don't have any dinosaurs. At the end of each deck cycle, play up to one Oakfather minion. Okay. These guys don't attack each other ever? What's a defender? <laughs> okay. So this will be good right at the end. Next creature we play, plus four, plus four. Oh, let's do this. He's doing damage to something. It's annoying. Okay. Play a Wisp Minion at the end of the cycle, which is right now. Play an Oak Father, so we'll do that, I guess. Oh, he's a defender again, though. Which doesn't help us. Yeah, not great. Could have done better. All right. We won't be able to kill this guy either. Actually, eight. He'll have one life left. Oh, this is what I was going to do. Play up to one wisp. Give a minion plus two. Give your minions plus two plus two. That's what I should have done instead of that. Because I could have put a wisp there. I can undo it. Okay, so if I played that. Wait, if I played this first. And then we play... This. Ah. Oh. Okay, okay. Okay, play this. Minion. So he does that first. We play the Wisp. He gets buffed. Then we play the Wisp, and then all of it gets buffed. Oh, only the Wisp gets buffed. Give your minions plus one, plus, plus two, plus two. Oh, I thought minions was everything, but minions is only these. 
Okay. I get you. Interesting that you can undo everything. Finally killed the stupid assassin. But you're just going to get a better one next turn. More damage done to us. Jeez. These are good. Deal one damage. But for each armor on the creature. Yeah, that's good. Throw it to one enemy creature with three or more. This is... We could get rid of this, but it's not doing much. Play up to one gizmo minion. If you have a robot, robot in play, play it one mega gizmo instead. Fourteen ten. Jeez. Um. I guess we could do this to give this guy plus six. Because that'll be a robot in play then. Eleven damage, Jesus! If you have a creature with armor in play, get this plus five. He's so synergistic with armor, and they're always going to have armor for him. Well played. Um, okay, I can never play this. I guess this gets stronger. But I could play it now, and then I can get one five or more next turn. Play up to one Gizmo minion. If you have a robot in play, so this would be a 4-8. Alright, let's do this. And this is a... Uh... Okay. So then we can play this, which is a Mega Gizmo, on top of this Gizmo, I guess. And then he'll become massive. Become a 12 12. Okay. Interesting. All right, now I'm in. Uh, play a Mega Megas. Upgrade a card in your hand, then play it for free. That's good. Warrior. Okay. Give your creatures full armor this turn. If you have a mage in play, deal two damage to all enemy creatures. I do not. If this replaces a creature, give it something. Give the next creature you play. We don't have many creatures this turn. So upgrade a card in your hand, then play it for free. So mage and play deal three damage to a creature. I don't have a mage. I think we just play this one this turn all right let's just yeah this should be okay we'll do this here What did that do? Just massive damage. Okay, so we can play a Mega Gizmo. Yeah, this is good. I'll put it over here. Then we upgrade this one. 
and creatures adjacent to it. So we'll play this one here. That gets masses. And then we upgrade this. I'm just thinking of this one here. Give one of your creatures plus six. If it's a warrior, give it even more. Nah, we'll do this. Upgrade this. And then play it here. Oh, actually, it goes over the top of this? Although that gets discarded. Oh, okay. That was crap. Oh, well, maybe not. 15, 15, 15. Okay, cool. So you can do things with the stack order to give you your minions extra damage. Alright. Oh, he's still got a bigger card than me there. Jeez. This is still alive? Man. Give your dinosaurs. I don't have any dinosaurs. So we could have a stealth dude do damage to him. I'm only on 17 life. I've got a whole lot of level 1 cards. What's going on here? Who's a level 1 enemy minion? He hasn't got any level 1 minions. Damn. Damn. Aggressive this turn. Got some really low cost minions here. It's not looking good. Give plus two for every one. Oh gosh. At least we kill it. Oh no, it's stealth! Reach creature with armor and play. That is annoying as heck. Is he level one? He's a level one. Perfect. Okay, no more moves. All right. Jeez Louise. And he still gets five damage in though. This is tough just for the first battle here. All right. Play up to one wisp minion. Give your minions plus three plus three. That's a robot beast. This is a min. No, it's not even a minion. Play two oak father minions. Play up to one mega minion. All right, let's do that to start with. We'll just block this guy. Okay. All right, he's got a weak start here. Let's do it. We don't even need to do this yet. What's the last one, actually? Give your creature... Okay, yeah, we can. I forgot it swapped it. Okay, just like that, hey? Jeez, big battles. Um, your deck has gained experience. In the demo, your decks are capped at level 10. In the full game, they can increase to level 21. It'll wish the full game and be notified when it goes live. Okay. Captain level 10. What level was I? Hide show. Return to memory. Oh, so we're going to have one battle. Oh, no.